Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so very happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. Mama's got your back, at least for makeup's concerned and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Speaking of cheap makeup, it doesn't get much cheaper than a dollar right? <laughs> I went to the dollar store. I went to the Dollar Tree again. And guys, there wasn't a whole lot of new stuff since the last time I went. Uh, but I did come out with a couple of things that I am just so psyched about. I am so psyched about. Uh, I We're just going to dive right into it. We're going to dive right into it. I'm going to show you everything I got. And then you tell me, what was your favorite product? What was the thing that you think you would pick up like, what are you most inclined to pick up? I would love to know. So I went to the Dollar Tree. Everything at my Dollar Tree is still is still pretty much a dollar. There are a couple things that are $1.25, but for the most, most part, everything is a dollar. And the first thing I want to talk to you guys about are these. So these are the Ioni, uh, the, are the Ioni 3D Faux Mink Lashes. Guys, I picked up a ton of these. These are a dollar a piece, but they came out with a new line and they're the Zodiac lashes. Now I'm a Taurus, so I picked up the Taurus lashes. I also picked up the Libra because I thought they looked so full and fun. I think these look a little bit wispier. They do definitely look a little bit wispier and more natural, but these look like va va voom, like lashes. So I'm excited to play with those. I also picked up the Gemini. I picked these up because they just look so long and fluffy. I'm just, oh, okay. And then I picked up the, these ones are the Leos. And these ones just look like party lashes. They're nice and spiky. Now, I actually, in my last, uh, in my last Dollar Tree video, picked up a couple pairs of the, I picked up the individual lash extensions, and those are freaking phenomenal. I, I I looked for them and they were all sold out this time uh, that I went. So the reason I picked up so many pairs of these is because I'm actually going to start to take the full lashes and just cut them into sections and use those as like individual lash extens extensions uh, instead of having to put a full lash on because I really just like a little bit more volume on the outer corner of my eye and these are so pretty. That's the reason I got the more big fluffy kind of lashes so I can get that real like cat eye effect on my outer corner. I am so excited. Guys, for a dollar a piece, these are absolutely phenomenal. I highly, highly, highly recommend the Ioni lashes. I don't, however, recommend the Ioni lash adhesive. Don't waste your dollar on it. Guys, I picked up two bottles of the Ioni uh, lash adhesive last time I went and both bottles were empty. There was literally nothing in there and what had been in there was so dried up and crusty and unusable. I was so upset and then of course I just forgot to take them back. But yeah, they, Dollar Tree got me. They got me good. They got me out of two dollars because don't. Y'all just spend the, the, the two extra dollars and go get the duo lash glue. I it's here somewhere but you guys know I use my duo lash glue for absolutely everything it's the best there is it is the best there is it's a great value don't mess don't mess with that dollar store stuff first of all it's probably not very good for your eyes and second of all they're making their money because they didn't put enough in there for toward a 10 cent price tag let alone a dollar Ooh, that one made me mad that one made me mad but these these certainly did not these are fantastic love these so so much Another thing that I'm super excited about is these nail polish. Now, I have been, I'm in a trend at the moment, and I love my nails. I love doing my nails. I just did my nails a couple days ago. This is what they look like. I am in a nude nail kind of, I want to say fetish. It's not a fetish, though. I like my, I'm liking the nude nails. I like the nude base with just a little bit of sparkle and shine on top. I think it looks elegant and and classy, but still fun and youthful. I feel I am feeling this. I am feeling this very, very, very much right now. Uh, so I picked up a couple of, and I realized that I really don't have that many bottles of nude nail polish because usually I prefer 
bright, bold, vivid colors. I still love my bright, bold, vivid colors. I just am, I, I want options. I want options, right? So uh, there was a new uh, brand of nail polish at my dollar store uh, and I, I wanted to pick it up and try it out. This is called New Color Nail Polish and the bottle actually looks really nice. I love this kind of soft, frosty, mint green color. But then I also picked up these two colors as well. And guys, I know, I know they look like the same color, but they're not. This one is definitely more pink and this one is more beige. I wonder if you guys can see the difference in color. This one's the pinkier one. This one's the more nudey, brownie, beigey one. I am just, I just want options. And I just really like, actually, the color on my nails right now is a Givenchy nail polish. I picked it up. I know I showed it in my last Burks haul. I picked it up at Burke's last time I was there for like $1.50 and I loved it. I loved it so much. It was basically the same color as my skin tone, um, but I didn't like it by itself. By itself, it was just super nude and not quite enough for me. But this time I tried it with a little bit of sparkle on top and I cannot tell you how much I love it. And not only that, but this color goes with absolutely everything. I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, watching what colors I wear because they're going to clash with my nails. This color goes with absolutely everything. I'm going to try. I actually picked up these lighter shades because I want to try uh, working with some. I got a, uh, what are those things called? They're the little jelly things that you press your nail into to make like a French tip. They're the jelly nail rollers. Anyway, I got one of those uh, from Sheen and I really want to try to start playing with it to see if I can make myself some pretty French nails. And of course, you don't necessarily have to use a light colored polish. You could do bright green and neon yellow uh, tips and it would look absolutely beautiful. I just wanted options and I wanted to be able to play around and mess around uh, with different with different styles. And these are so, so pretty. I love these colors. I love this color. I think it's so, so pretty. I picked up a couple of different shades, uh, but I put them somewhere and can't remember where I put them. But these are the highlights. I also picked up, there were a couple of things uh, at my at my Dollar Tree that were new that I hadn't seen before. Uh, this this is one of them. So this is the Pro FX Nail Brightener. It says it illuminates uh, uh, nail polishes, and I'm not sure what this is. I know it's uh, it says it's Profon Salon uh, Professional Quality. It says it illuminates colors, non-yellowing, uh, hardens nails. Uh, it just says to. Uh, to use, apply one coat to clean bare nails or apply a uh, top coat over any dry nail color. So I think what this did, that did is I actually put it on this nail. And if you wanna compare the two, if you guys can see the difference between the two nails, I think all it is is really just kind of a mattifying, super shiny kind of top coat. But I think this would be really nice I think I like it uh, very much over the nude polish because it does just kind of melt everything together a little bit more. It's a nice big bottle. I'm excited. I'm excited to see if this is going to help lengthen uh, the wear time of my nail polish, especially when I'm not using uh, fake nails. I have the hardest time getting my nails not to chip. Uh, usually if I paint my real nails, it'll only last me a day or two before they're a chipped nasty mess. Uh, so hopefully this will prolong that. And also if it's going to help brighten things up, that's nice too. I think basically what it does is just provide a kind of milky top layer. You can definitely see the difference between those two nails. And though I really like this finish, I actually really like this finish as well. It just depends on what you're feeling and how you're feeling. But again, it's an option and I like having the option. Uh, last but not least uh, for nail polish and nail things is I got this quick dry rapid set nail polish. It says dries polish to a high gloss high gloss shine. And if you guys are anything like me, I have the hardest time actually letting my nails dry before I get up and do something else. I am the worst. I'll sit there and I'll spend I'll spend an hour painting my nails, making them perfect. I've got coat after coat of beautiful, perfect nail polish on there. I put my top coat on and I sit there and I sit there for all of 15 minutes. And then I get up and I go to do something, usually change the laundry or wash some dishes and I destroy my entire manicure. It has happened to me so many times. I don't even really want to talk to talk about it. It makes me so, so angry because then I have, I have to start all over the place. I have to start all over again. 
So, uh, and the one that I have been using is from Revlon, uh, and I usually get it at Burke's, but they didn't have any more, and I was, like, stressing. I was stressing because I'm almost, I'm almost out of the bottle that I have. So, when I saw this, I was like, oh, please work, please work, please work, and if it does work, y'all, it's only a dollar. It is only a dollar. The one I get from Revlon is, like, six or seven, so please work. <laughs> I will let you guys know. I'll put an edit in the description box uh, after I try it and see if it actually works. If it doesn't work, I will 100% let you guys know, tell you not to waste your money. But if it does work, it's only a dollar. So that makes me happy. Guys, we are coming into the things that I am absolutely the most excited about. Uh, so I, I also picked up a couple of brushes while I was there. You guys know I am a firm believer in the fact that you can never have too many brushes so they had a couple of different brushes there they had a flat packing brush they had a skinny pencil brush they had a big uh, powder kabuki style brush and then they had wet and wild brushes there now let's start with my favorite of the three or favorite of the four and my favorite is of course going to be the wet and wild I love wet and wild brushes they're super great quality they're super super affordable uh, the only thing that is like not my absolute favorite about these brushes is that they're so floppy but because they're so floppy they make perfect uh, upper transition area brushes um, and they also work really well in the crease they're just not very dense so so they they don't pick up a ton of product at a time uh, which again for the transition area is pretty great because you don't necessarily want a ton of pigment on the transition area so these are great 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 brushes they're nice and floppy they're very very soft they've got these uh I, I want to say ergonomic handles. There's these little divots that make it really, really easy to hold and comfortable in the hand as well. So you really don't have to worry about it flying out of your hand. I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. So these are really fantastic. They had a couple different styles of the Wet n Wild brushes there. They had the big fluffy uh, brushes and they also had the flat packing brushes. I have a couple of the flat packing brushes already. So I just picked up a couple of the fluffy blenders and they're great. I think that... You can't have too many fluffy blenders for me you just cannot have too many so the next ones I want to talk to you guys are about these ones and what was what did the packaging look like so this is what the packaging looked like for these other brushes these are they just say eye, eyeshadow brush it's what the packaging looked like super <laughs> I mean super cheap it's a dollar so I'm not complaining that's what the packaging looks like if you guys go to your Dollar Tree and are looking for them uh, they were just on they were on an end cap and they were just hanging on one of those strips you know the strips with the little pegs on them that's where they were hanging at and they had three different styles there's this really big fluffy kabuki brush now this is super super floppy there's no density to this brush at all whatsoever uh, I am getting just a little bit of shedding but nothing at nothing horrible and I think after the first like I'm pulling on it and I'm not getting any any shedding off uh, so I think after the first couple of uses I think you'll get all the shedding out of the way but for a dollar it's actually really nice quality I like the handle it's got these really pretty um, tri-colored beads in the center so you've got pink purple blue super pretty unicorn vibes uh, it's nice and long as well I hate super short brushes uh, especially when I'm trying to use it for powder or things like that I think the longer the brush is the more kind of light and soft pigmentation I can get. I like how floppy this is. I feel like it would be great for powder blush or maybe even contour because it's not so dense that you have to worry about it picking up a ton of product, but it's not, you know, it's nice. It's nice. And especially for a dollar, I'm not going to gripe. I think this brush is nice. I think for blush or contour, it's all, it's just about the perfect shape. I even like that it's got a flat kabuki top because it really lets you get into that little uh, crevice there, that little hollow there and really get in there and apply your uh, product. This is nice. This I like very, very much. The last two brushes <clears throat> I picked up are these. So one is a flat packing brush and one is a, uh, pointed kind of pencil. Now this looks very, very much like the AOA brush that I order all the time. Uh, and I'm in love with it. I love these brushes. I love these brushes for highlight for and for inner corners. And this one is exactly the same thing. Uh, I will say that my AOA studios are softer. This one is really, really, really dense. I thought, I think though, I'm hopeful uh, that that density 
uh, will soften and the bristles will soften over time. It's not anything where it doesn't, it doesn't feel prickly or anything like that. Uh, and it is great at picking up the product because it's so densely packed. Uh, but it's just not the most comfortable thing uh, to put on the inner corner. But I did use this brush today to apply my uh, brow bone and inner corner highlight and it worked beautifully. I also think that this brush, especially since it's so stiff, would be perfect for smudging out the lower lash line. I think this is a really, really great find, especially for a dollar. And especially for the fact that it's at the at Dollar Tree and it's easily accessible, that makes me super, super happy. So score on that. And then last but not least, we have the flat packing brush. And the flat packing brush is basically just a flat packing brush. Now, this one, I will say, is not the absolute best. There's got it, there's a lot of stiffness in there, but most of that stiffness is due to the fact that they actually put glue in here. This is why we uh, wash our brushes before we use them, because they actually put a little bit of glue in there to keep the bristles stiff so they don't bend out of place in the packaging. So when you're getting a new brush, make sure that you're bending the bristles back and forth and breaking up all that glue in there, and then make sure that you're washing it afterwards, and you'll find that your brushes are so much softer after after that yeah because that feels so much better I just took this out of the packaging and now that I've broken up all that glue and all that hard stuff in the center of it it feels much much better uh, these are of course synthetic bristles but brushes like this are really really perfect for shimmer shadows and specifically putty like shimmer shadows so like the ones in the Beauty Bay palettes Sometimes they're pretty difficult to pick up with a brush, depending on how much moisture is in the shadow. So really thick, dense brushes like this are perfect for kind of like really painting, uh, you know, swiping into the pan and painting it onto the eye. I like these. These are really, really great. It's just about the only thing I use them for, but for that, they are perfect. I also think that this brush would be really, really perfect for cutting a crease because it is so thin and precise up here at the top. I think this would be a great cut crease brush, brush as well. And I'm always on the hunt for a good cut crease brush. I do a cut crease at least two or three times a week. So that was it for the brushes. Now, I also picked up a couple of cheek products, and that is the reason that there is no color on my face right now, uh, because I actually wanted to demo one of these blushes with you guys. So these are the, what are these? These are the LA Colors Cream Gel Blushes. These are new. I got these in four different shades. Uh, they are all very, very neutral. So if you are looking for a really great neutral cream blush, this might be it. So this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, this is the color Adorned. I also got the color Tainted Love, which is a really pretty pink. Uh, this one is more of like a, a a dark, rusty, not rusty, a dark, dusty, mauve, dusty rose mauve color. More of a dusty rose color. Super pretty. This is more of like a baby peachy pink color. This is, this is the shade Admirable, and this is a dusty mauve that is mauve all day long so so beautiful I can see myself getting a lot of use out of that color and then last but not least i got this color and this is the shade hypnotized and this is absolutely stunning this is the most beautiful peachy blush it is a peachy nude and so incredibly beautiful i think i want to use this color today just because i have a i have a pretty neutral green leaning eye on and i think peach and green go together really well i think i could also use that dusty mauve and it would look really pretty as well let's use one on each side each side shall we let's see which one looks the best so uh we have the shades admirable and hypnotized I'm going to shake this up a little bit just to make sure that nothing's separated in there. And then I'm going to bang it down so it doesn't spray all over me when I open it up. Oh, they're sealed. Sealed for your protection. Honey, that makes me happy. I love a good safety seal. Now I know for sure nobody has touched these and put their stinky fingers on them. That makes me happy. So this, what was the shade? I'm so admirable. This was that dusty mauve shade. I will say you don't get a ton of product in here. That's a, that's a big bottle and not a ton of product in there. So this is the dusty mauve. This is admirable. I probably put too much out too. I probably put too much on the back of my hand, but let's just kind of dot it onto the cheek. These are very, very nude. I think I'm going to blend this out 
let's do it with my brush first. So this is just my uh, e.l.f. angled blush brush. It's just the mini version. It's usually what I use for my uh, cream blushes. And I already have my face done. It's not powdered, but I do have base and all that other stuff on. And then I have powdered underneath my eyes and done some bronzer. But I want to see if this picks up my base. It is not picking up my base. <laughs> That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> that is so pretty. It didn't pick up my base underneath. It it doesn't feel sticky or tacky, but it still left my cheek with that really beautiful kind of dewy flush, but it doesn't feel sticky or tacky at all on the face. That color is beautiful. Let's see if we can build it up just a little bit. These are very, very natural colors, very, very nude, natural colors. So it's, they're not meant to be like big pops of color on the cheek. They are very, very wearable blushes, but there's nice pigmentation on there. That is a really beautiful, uh, it looks more rosy on my skin tone uh, than, you know, cause that's what it looks like on the back of my hand. And then on my skin, it looks a little bit more uh, rosy toned, but that's beautiful. That's absolutely stunning. That has gone on seamlessly. There's no, it's blended beautifully around the edges. It hasn't picked up any of my product. It hasn't messed with my bronzer or contour. That's stunning. All right, let's try this peachy shade out. So this is the shade Hypnotized. And you don't need a ton because they are pigmented. I was thinking that they were going to be maybe not, not, you know, super pigmented. But these are beautiful. Ooh, this color is everything. This color is such a really pretty nude peach. I'm gonna take this and just kind of dot this just the same way I did the other color. Let's take it with my brush and just kind of stipple that on. Oh, this is even prettier. This one I th would say is even maybe a little bit, I don't know, maybe not more pigmented. I think I just like this color better. This reminds me very much of the shade Bora Bora from the e.l.f. Putty Blushes. Not the same texture, but it, it's kind of like the same color. It's that really pretty pinky peach color. This is stunning. It blended beautifully. It blended effortlessly. It hasn't picked up any of my makeup. It looks beautifully, it looks, oh my gosh. I'll put a little bit on my chin as well. I might be a little bit rougher with it too and see if it can handle like a quick kind of oh wow let's put a little bit on the tip of my nose okay all right all right all right LA colors what are you doing what are you doing you know what I was worried because I picked up four colors and I was like you know you just you bought four colors and you don't even know if it's any good why would you do that honey child I am so happy that I did I think okay so this is the shade admirable on this cheek and on this cheek we have hypnotized okay ah, okay these are so good <laughs> these are so pretty I have there, I, I was expe expecting him to be like super cheap feeling. I was expecting him to be basically KY jelly or, 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 you know, petroleum jelly with some pigment in there, but, and you know, go on my cheek and remove my product and just feel sticky and tacky and gross. But honey, I am telling you, these feel so nice. They're giving my cheek such a beautiful, like lit with 
lit from within kind of glow there's no uh, glitter particles there's no nothing like that they just leave a beautiful dewy sheen on the cheek without being sticky without being tacky uh, you can use this I, I, I believe you could probably use this over powder too if you wanted to it just feels like that formula it's got a nice unctuousness to it without being super thin or without being super thick it blended out effortlessly I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are probably my favorite favorite buy from this trip to Dollar Tree. These are absolutely fantastic. Run, don't walk. I mean, especially for a dollar. I picked up a couple of the uh, Lottie London uh, sweet, sweet blushes. Uh, these are going to be in my, uh, in, in a coming up video on some new things that I got from Walmart. But these are so, so great, right? And the texture of these reminds me very much of these like almost identical and these are like a third of the price not even more than a third I think these are around five or six dollars and these were only one how much product do you get in here so you get 0.28 ounces in here and then in here you get Point four ounces so you get double the amount of product so you get 0.40 ounces in here and you get 0.28 so almost 0.3 ounces so you get almost double the amount of product in here than you do in here so I can understand that but y'all if y'all are looking for just a quick beautiful dewy luminous uh liquid blush check those out those are so pretty my mind is blown. My mind is absolutely blown. I am so in love with those. I am so glad I went ahead and got all four colors. Oh, I am so, so happy. So yes, those are going to probably go down in my favorite thing that I purchased from Dollar Tree this, uh, this, this episode, this turn. Uh, I also picked up a couple of the LA Colors Sheer Lip Gloss. So these, the, these colors I just thought looked really, really pretty. I got two different colors. I got a bright pink and a peach. Uh, I already opened the bright pink and I think it's really, really beautiful. Uh, these are, they're called Jelly Lip Glosses. And I think that name just kind of drew me in. Cause like, what is it? What does a jelly lip gloss feel like? It feels like a lip gloss. It feels like a lip gloss, but they're actually really nice and moisturizing. I would say it's a mixture between a lip gloss and a lip balm. But the thing that I think is the most fun about this is the applicator. It has this kind of fuzzy tipped, like cotton tipped slanted applicator. And you can see it squeezes out right from the center there. But they're super, super comfortable. I'm I wanna put a little bit of the pink on. They're not super pigmented. They're not super pigmented. There is just a little bit of a hint of tint to them, but they they just feel good. They're not sticky in any way. I was expecting them to be sticky and they're not sticky. They don't feel overly thick either. They just feel nice and cushy. They feel very cushy on the lips. They feel moisturizing. They feel very, very pleasant, but I am super excited about this color. I just love peach. I love peach so much and I've been wearing so much green here recently and I just like peach and green together I know a lot of people do peach and uh green and peach and I like green and peach together I think it's really pretty I know a lot of people like to do green and mauve uh you know kind of like green and purple but I like green and peach I think it's something a little bit different uh so this is what the applicator looks like before it's been used it's just a really pretty uh cotton my, not, I don't know if it's cotton but it's got that fuzzy tipped applicator it's actually super comfortable on the lips it's very easy to apply so ooh, look at that color. So that's what the color of it looks like. Let's swatch this just on the back of my hand so you guys can see that. Oh, that is pretty. That is like me in a lip gloss for sure. I love that kind of peachy orangey tint. Mm. I like how small the applicator is. It lets you get a nice, precise application. That is beautiful. Not sticky, not stringy at all. It's not doing that gross thing where it kind of layers around the edges of your mouth. I love this color. It is a very beautiful peachy toned nude. It's super, super sheer. 
it goes on the lips it gives you that really beautiful glossy shine with while still being lightweight I mean as lightweight as a lip gloss can be it doesn't feel heavy on my lips it feels super moisturizing it doesn't feel sticky at all it just feels very cushy and like uh velvety almost it's just very glidey but not in a way that it's just going to like kind of melt off your lips. It's got enough stick intact to it that it feels like it's going to stick around for a minute. Ooh, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Okay, I am so happy. I am so happy. So I love these too. I wish I would have got these in a couple more colors. Next time I go, I'll definitely pick up a more, a few more shades of this. Uh, between the two, I definitely prefer the peach. I think the peach is just a beautiful, beautiful nude, but the pink is beautiful as well. I will wear them both. I am so in love with both of those still like the blushes i still think the blushes are the best find y'all if you come across those in your dollar tree baby girl pick them up because they are so good my cheeks look so delicious right now i look so moisturized and dewy Ooh, i love it so much okay and last but not least i picked up a couple of the la colors auto eyeliners now i love the la colors neon gel eyeliners these things are fantastic but these are sharpenable and i haven't tried any of the auto eyeliners and i'm wondering if it's the same formula because the uh the neon gel eyeliners i think are i mean they're incredible they're incredible this white neon gel eyeliner it is the la colors neon gel eyeliner in the shade flash white when i tell you this is the best white eyeliner i have ever used in my life i am not lying to you it is so fantastic glides onto the eye effortlessly whether you're using it in the waterline or on the lash line it is perfect it is a perfect white eyeliner super pigmented creamy easy to work with love it but I usually prefer a sharpenable pencil because I find that the formula inside a sharpenable pencil is just, it's, it just tends to be creamier. I really don't like having to tug at my uh, eyeliner at all. The only exception, come out, come out, come out. The only exception I have ever found to, to that is with the Milani Stay Put liners. They manage to be both uh, retractable and super creamy and pigmented uh but we're gonna see we're gonna see with these la colors ones if they're any good this is just in the shade purple and this is what the component looks like just a straight up retractable eyeliner you get a nice fine point on the top let's see yeah no that's dry and waxy okay so i'm already gonna tell you guys yeah that is trash garbage so that is what it looks like on the back of my hand you can see all of the clumps and stuff there uh that's because what's happening is there's too much wax in the formula and it's balling up on itself if it's doing that on the back of my hand i can only imagine what it's gonna do on my either my eyelid or my super watery eyes it probably wouldn't even draw on my eye if i wanted it to what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I will keep a hold of this because this is the kind of formula that I really enjoy as a lip liner. So I'll just use this as a lip liner instead of an eyeliner. I wouldn't put this anywhere near my eye. You're going to end up slipping and poking yourself in the eye or you're going to have to go over your eyelid a million and one times. Yeah, I can even feel the wax on the like on the back of my hand. This is trash. Don't, 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 don't do this. I got two different colors of this. I got the shade purple and I got the shade pink they're both garbage i will say that i think the pink is a little bit creamier i tried the pink already and the pink feels so much better than the purple oh yeah pink is so much better than the purple definitely creamier you can see with the purple that it's got those patchy like uh balled up spots and with the pink that doesn't happen the pink is definitely creamier it's got a better glide to it but still i don't think it's creamy enough to go onto the eyelid if you wanted to use this like to line the upper lash line or even the lower lash line that would be great but trying to put this in the waterline is a non-starter i wouldn't do that i'll keep both of these around see if i can use them for it, lip liner or use them for something artistic but as a whole i would say that to probably skip on these if you're looking for a really good affordable colored eyeliner i would go with the pencil ones the sharpenable ones and i would go with the gel eyeliners much much better formula much more pigmented easier to use 
just better all together. Uh, I like that they're sharpenable as well because you can get, you know, you can get your nice uh, sharp point on there if you want to. Definitely pass on these. Even though they're only a dollar, I don't think they're worth the dollar that you guys would spend on them. Last but not least, I picked up the LA Colors Marshmallow Eye Pencil. Now, uh, last time I went, I picked up a couple of these. One in pink and one in like a beautiful minty turquoise green color. I love those. I like to use these as eyeliner. I think that these are super creamy, super creamy nicely pigmented. I use these more so as eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, as eyeliner than I do anything else. I think these make for really fantastic eyeliners. I actually got this one because I was going to try to use it as a lipstick. Uh, these are pretty much multitasker sticks. You can pretty much put these just wherever you want to. Um, but I've been on the hunt for a really beautiful yellow lipstick. And this is the closest I've come to it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to use this as a lipstick. But also as an eyeliner. I'm always looking for that really beautiful bright poppy yellow eyeliner and this is a really 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 pretty color it's got a nice creaminess to it it's nicely pigmented that's pretty i'm going to enjoy that uh if you're on the hunt for a really great eyeliner uh a yellow eyeliner but you don't necessarily want to go uh for something like this uh nyx makes the nyx epic wear liner sticks they have a beautiful beautiful yellow eyeliner in the shade cosmic yellow that is absolutely phenomenal uh the Epic Wear Liner Sticks, they set down and they don't move. They always wear really beautifully on my super, super watery waterline. They're just really great. So if you don't necessarily want to use something like this and have a little bit of extra money to play with, I definitely recommend that one as well. Guys, that's the end of my Dollar Tree haul. I also picked up a couple more fans because I just kind of couldn't help myself. Uh, and I love a good fan. I have been loving playing with these things so much. I sit here and I just kind of flip it and flap it all day. I love it so, so much. I'm getting so good at it. Uh, maybe I'll do like a, a quickie video and just kind of show you guys. But I am getting so good at it. I just, I literally just sit here and play with them. Okay, put the fan away. Anyway, I love you so, so very much. Guys, as always, I will post everything in today's video in the description box below, along with the links to my other social media accounts. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, make sure that you guys are doing that. I post lots of fun. I post lots of fun content every single day. Uh, Monday through Friday, I post every single day. And then I usually post what at least once or twice during the weekend as well. I'll have the links for those in the description box uh, below as well. As always, no filters, no fancy lighting, no edits, no nothing, guys. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some makeup, hoping I'm entertaining you at least a teeny tiny, tiny amount. Guys, I love you so, so very much. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.